Hi team, very very good morning to you and uh, in this uh, trading video I am going to share with you uh, you know the details of or rather getting started with JPA Java Persistence API. Now the moment I say JPA you know Java Persistence API it is it, it goes without saying that I am talking about persistency I am talking about storing the data in the database or why uh, I mean the uh, I mean, not just simply storing the data in the database, but also retrieving the data in, from the database. What are the fundamental and the basic things that you do with the database? You know, from your application, you retrieve data, you know, you fire select statements, you update, you insert, and you delete the data, right? This is what you do with the database from a typical business application. So now, uh, you know, there are quite a few things that you need to do in order to access the database. If you use plain JDBC, I repeat, if you use plain JDBC, which is uh, you know very much uh, you know possible like for example let me uh, I'll, I'll, let me do this for you you know i will just create a dummy class for now okay and i'll say jdbc demo i'm not going to write this full fledged code and i'm not going to write this uh, uh, you know i mean uh, run this and demonstrate the whole thing to you but then yes i'm going to write some code so that you get an overview of what jdbc is all about first and foremost so i said we are going to talk about spring jpa java persistency api yes we will definitely come to it in few minutes but then first first and foremost what is the what is the uh, uh, you know very uh, uh, you know, I, I mean what are the what are the very basic api available in java so spring sits on top of java spring is a framework i repeat spring is a framework it has got several modules it has got uh, you know modules for uh, talking to some module uh, you name it as you know jpa uh, or or you or or, or, or uh, there are many many other modules so jpa is the module which helps you to talk to the database then you have got jms uh, uh, you know specific module which helps you to talk to your uh, messaging systems there are tons of modules right as far as spring framework is concerned and you can use whatever module you want you know web module is one of the modules we are using in order to expose our services as restful services so jpa is also one of those modules keeping jpa aside for the moment what jpa does internally you will understand only and only if you understand how uh, fundamentally you access the database from plain java i am not talking about Spring Framework as of now, I'm still talking about plain Java, not using any classes of Spring Framework at all, directly using Java in order to talk to the database. So, uh, you know, Java has, uh, it's one of the libraries of Java or one of the APIs of Java, let, let me say, one of the APIs of Java is JDBC, you know, Java Database Connectivity, JDBC, that's what we have. So how do you get that JDBC, uh, you know, stuff, uh, 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 you know, written and how do you access the database? So what you do is that in order to connect to the database, first and foremost, you will need a connection object. So you can see that java.sql, you know, it's in Java. So java.sql is the package uh, which has got the entire JDBC API. So I'll say connection. I'll say con, okay, just a short form or I'll say connection is equal to, I'll say connection dot Oh, sorry, sorry, I'm so sorry. Connection is an interface. You see, this connection is actually an interface. You can see this here. It is an interface. And I'm going to write what? I'm going to write driver manager. Okay, this is one of the classes again in java.skill. Please see driver manager. This is a class, not an interface. You can see this. This is actually a class. And then there is a static method on it called get connection. What do you mean by static method? You can invoke that method directly on the class. You don't need to create an object of that class in order to invoke the method. So you have got get connection. The uh, you know what i need to give here is the url what is that url now each one of these databases that you have that supports jdbc or that has a jdbc driver will definitely have a specific you know url pattern for example if i want to connect to oracle it has got a particular jdbc pattern if i want to connect to sybase if i want to connect to ingress infomix whatever if i want to connect to um, uh, uh, you know mysql which is installed in my machine MySQL, if I want to connect to MySQL, and MySQL, by the way, is the database we are going to use for all, uh, you know, study purpose, for all the purposes, uh, uh, you know, which is, uh, which is kind of study purpose and development purpose and, you know, testing purpose and stuff, we will use MySQL. Enterprise edition of MySQL is also available, which is which can be recommended for production to our customers, but usually our customer, they already have database like Oracle and stuff. So 
you know, we work with Oracle database uh, for the real life projects. But as far as our, our, our R&D is concerned, we can very well work with MySQL. So you will have to install MySQL database and one of the tools that helps you to connect to MySQL database, you know. So one is the database that you install on your machine. And the other is a tool, some kind of a GUI, some graphical user interface based tool, which helps you to connect to the database and it will help you to, uh, you know, fire uh, uh, select, update, insert, delete uh, from the tool uh, so that you can, uh, not only that, you will be able to create a new database in MySQL, you will be able to create, uh, you know, new tables and stuff and all. Let me give you an overview. In case of Mac, we have got something called SQL Pro, which is a tool. So I have installed MySQL here on my machine. I repeat, I do have my SQL installed on my machine, but what I am doing now is I am using a tool called SQL Pro, which helps me to get into my SQL database. You see 127.0.1 and root is the username. There is no password at all. And when I double click on this, it connects, okay? And say, I'll say choose or else, you know, if, if, if I'll, I'll, you know, once again start it. As you can see, I have already created a connection over here and I have saved that connection, okay? So when I say connect, I can connect here and it gets saved here in favorites, very simple stuff. I double click on this and then I go to some, you know, table in the database. So first trainer is one of those, you know, databases that I have already created. There are a lot of tables here in this database and then you have a lot of, you know, data also in, the, in this table so I can demonstrate something to you. Not only that, but you also can very well say plus over here and you can create new tables. You can see this here. You can also say database and you can say add a database you can create new database for you over here so you can create a new database you can create new tables in the database you can select a particular table you'll get the structure of the table here you can create a new structure you can keep on adding fields and this is the content you can say plus and you will be able to so you you, you decide because if you are working on windows then in that case uh, you know you will have um, uh, you will have a different tool in because this this particular tool SQL Pro is available only for Mac I believe uh, for Windows you have other options available MySQL Workbench and so on. you just Google you will get a tool to connect to MySQL database and you will be able to do everything okay so uh, let this database be as it is it's uh, and the database is in the background already running so what does that DDBC URL for MySQL okay I keep forgetting so that's okay because we don't do these things daily uh, you know in and out so I'll just just go to Google okay and I, I mean I'll, I'll go to my browser I'll say uh, JDBC URL for MySQL and I'm going to get the URL string here. You can see this. It's pretty simple. You can see. Uh -huh. Here it is. <laughs> okay, I go back over here. So this is my JDBC URL. Okay, this is my JDBC URL. So here, uh, this is some name here. I'll say trainer. This is the name of my database. Okay, so 3306 is the default port on, my, on which my MySQL is running. Localhost is actually my own machine. This is the URL pattern for MySQL. If you want to connect to Oracle, this particular pattern would be different. This entire URL pattern will be different. And then what is the username? I'll say root is the username of the database on my local machine and there is no password at all. So this is my connection object. Obviously, it says that what if the uh, what if the connection fails, then what am I supposed to do? It will throw an exception. So you can see what is that kind of exception that it will throw. It will throw, uh, you know, uh, the exception SQL exception. So I'm putting SQL throws SQL exception here. In real life, you will handle exceptions more gracefully. But here, this is just simply public static void min and I'm saying throws exception, which is okay with me. Now what I'm going to do is I'll say connection. I'll, I would rather actually run this code and show you, you know. So I'll say connection dot. I will say create statement, okay. I'll say create statement. I, this is what I need to do. I need to create a statement object, you know. I'll say statement stmt is equal to connection as an interface. Okay, statement is an interface. You can see this, it's an interface, right. Okay, I'll use uh, control shift O to import it. Here you go. And then with that, I will say stmt dot execute query okay i'll say i better say not execute but execute query okay this is how it is which query i'll say select i'll write say training id comma let me go to my sql pro once again and let me check over there when i connect sorry 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 i'll say cancel i need to connect here i'll go to trainer and then i'll go to training i'll see the structure of the training it is training id and then uh, let me pick up the field short title and long title so i do have training id short title can you say star yes you can say star also but there are several fields over there so i'm just saying training id short title and long title okay this is not case sensitive at all you could have given in uppercase lowercase whatever from the name of the table is training okay that's what the name of the table is you can see this that's what the name of the table is training okay i go back here and then training and then i close this here what is it am i putting a where clause here no it will retrieve all the trainings that's fine with me what is it that it returns back it returns back a result set okay that's what it returns back result 
set is what it returns back. Again, java.sql, you know, I'll say result set is equal to. And what is this? This is again a interface, right? Am I writing new on the right hand side? Please note, no, I'm not writing new at all. What does this mean? That this API uh, is, is such a such a beautifully designed API. I will be able to plug and play different drivers, and I will be able to work with different types of databases. There won't be any change in my code over here, over here except for this particular parameters here. So the so so if I want to connect to Oracle, everything will remain same, uh, but just that. Uh, you know, this particular string will change and the user and the password of that Oracle database will change. Otherwise, everything else will remain same. Okay, then I'll say result set dot. I will say, uh, okay, next. Okay, this will return to me, uh, you know, the Boolean value, whether there is a next record or not in the scope of that select statement. While rs dot has next, I'll say result set. Okay, dot. I'll say get, I'll write in teacher. Okay, get end of which particular column I can give by pol column position as well as the name. I'll say training ID, this is what I have. And I'll say integer training ID is equal to so and so. And then I say string, I'll write short title is equal to, I'll write result set dot get string. Okay, and here I'll say what? Short title, correct? Similarly, I will say string long title is equal to result set dot get string okay and here i will write long title this is what i have see okay these are the three columns here i have specified and here you go now once that is done i'll write system dot out dot print ln and i'll say uh, training id is so sorry training id i'll say plus training id i'm just printing the values okay then i'll say uh, you know short title Okay, and then plus, okay, I leave the long title aside and then you have this, right? Now, if I run this code, see the error that I'm gonna get. You have got to see the error very carefully. I'm telling you upfront, there will be a runtime error. When I see, there is no compilation error at all. No compilation error, everything compiles beautifully. But if I run it, there will be a runtime error. I'll say run as Java application. And when I run as Java application, see this, what it says? No suitable driver found. For this JDBC URL, it says no suitable driver found. That means there is no driver at all in the class path. I repeat, there is no suitable driver in the class path. So I need to load the driver. How do I load the driver? I'll say class dot for name. What is that driver? You know, what is that driver? It is my SQL dot JDBC dot driver. Okay, com dot mysql dot JDBC dot driver. But then from where am I going to get that com.mysql that I have not. You can see this control shift T will help you to get the list of all the classes in your project. So here I'll say, you know, com.mysql. I'm not getting anything, right? Why? Because I did not include the jar file in my project at all. I repeat, I did not include the jar file in my project. Which jar file? Jar file, which is the database driver for MySQL. If I want to connect to Oracle, I need to have Oracle driver. If I need to connect to MySQL, I need to have a MySQL driver. That's what is needed, okay? If I connect to any database, I need a driver specific to that database in my path, in my class path. But as you can see, I do not have that driver at all over here. You know, there is no MySQL driver. Okay, and then I go to my pom.xml file. I need to add the driver over here as a dependency. I repeat, I need to add a driver here as a dependency. But where is the driver? How, from where am I going to get the dependency? I will again go to Chrome and see what I'm doing. I'll say Maven Central. I'll write JDBC driver. Okay, this will take me to the Maven Central and MySQL, you know, driver here. You can also go to my, uh, Maven Central and type here and there also you will get, you can see there is a driver available for 8.20. But my database that I'm running is of a lower version, it is 5.x. So if you have 8.x, then in that case, you can take any one of these drivers here. Otherwise, let me go to 5.x over here and 5.1 is good with me. And in 5.1, you can see this here, the latest one under 5.1 happens to be this 5.1.49. I will take this up and you can see this, there is a dependency here. I'll select this and it says copy, copy to the clipboard. I come here back to my palm.xml file and I will save it. You can see this here. Now, the moment I do this and I save this, okay, it automatically brings up my my SQL driver. You can see this now, if I scroll through over here, I will get somewhere or the other, I will get my SQL, here you are, my connect, my SQL connector.java, you can see that? 
MySQL hyphen connector hyphen job five dot one dot four dot nine. Why is this giving me an error over here? The reason is that you know over overriding managed version, which is okay. Don't worry, I will explain that later to you. Uh, you know, it's all about you know managed version, which automatically comes to the uh, parent. Uh, Spring Boot parent uh, bomb that you have included. Anyway, just just leave it. Okay, so this is what I have done, and now when I say Control Shift T, I'll get com dot mysql dot. I'll say driver dot. You can see that, my dear friends. Mysql com dot mysql dot jdbc dot driver. You can see this. Okay, I double click on it. You can see this is the driver class, and right, it is in this package. I will just pick this up. Okay. Or else, even if you Google, you will get what exactly the path of MySQL driver is. And then dot, I'll say driver. Okay, this is how I will load the driver, my dear friends. Okay, loading the driver throws a class not found exception. And then you have to include that in your throws clause over here. This is good. Now, this is cool. I, I believe now this must run. I click right mouse button, run as, you know, Java application. You can see this. Oh, I still have a problem here. You have an error in SQL. Check the manual for SQL, blah, 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 from training. Okay, there is some problem over here. Uh, trainer is the database that I have connected to. Okay, let me check that. Uh, trainer is the database, yes. Okay, MySQL localhost trainer. And what was the, uh, select? Oh, there is a comma here, additional comma, which is wrong. So long title from training. Okay, if there is any problem with your database, uh, I mean your SQL statement, here you go. I've got all the data here. My dear friends, you can see this. I have all the data. Correct. This is how you connect to database. And this is how you, you know, talk to the database. Now I have fired a select statement using JDBC. I can fire insert, update, delete, a lot of things I can do complete end to end to end. I can do complete end to end, uh, 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 you know, uh, you know, data manipulation. I can insert, I can update ins and, and delete That's, uh, also. So this is what, you know, the main thing that I have, you know, main function that I have created in which I have written this. What I'm going to do, I'll just remove this out from here and I'll say public. Okay. And so void. Uh, okay. Select. Uh, okay. I'll say get trainers. Okay. Or I'll say display trainings. Okay, this is what I have, you know, and I will copy paste that over here. Okay, and then see again, why? Because I, ha you know, your, your throws clause was over here, but then I've copied and pasted here and there is no throws clause here. I'll say throws exception, you know, this will cover all the exceptions, all right? Throws, correct, that's how it is. Okay, and from here, I'm gonna make a call. I'll say JDBC, okay, JDBC, BC. Oops. demo, demo is equal to new JDBC demo. Right, and I'll say demo dot display training. So same behavior. It's just that I have, you know, uh, okay. So it says throws exception, and this is the function I'm calling. So you will have to give up the stack. You know, how, what is it that you want to do? So what I'm going to do here is here also I'm going to say throws exception. Don't worry, we will take up exception handling in detail as a separate topic altogether. Okay, so now when I run this, I'm using the hotkeys as uh, hotkeys here. Uh, you know, so here you are. It runs and it gives me the details. Right. That's how it is. Now, what if you want to insert a row? What if you want to insert a row? I'll say public void. Okay, insert training. If this is what I want to do, then in that case, once again, I will have to definitely do this. You know, I will have to do this definitely. I need a connection object. Okay, let me once again say throws exception here. And then here, I will have to write a statement which will help me to insert. So how do I do that? Again, I say statement stmt is equal to, but this time I'll say connection dot create statement, but stmt dot, is it a query that I want to fire? No, it's an SQL statement, which will be an insert. So I'll just simply say execute, not execute query. And here I'll write insert, okay, insert into, I will say, uh, which 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 table which table it's training table okay I, I don't want to you know corrupt my training table so let me create another uh, you know table over here called training underscore demo uh, that's it and then in training demo I've got I'll keep training ID okay I'll say training uh, sorry short title this is supposed to be a where care and I'll say hundred I'll say long title and I'll say where care again I'll say hundred okay this is what I have this is training ID is the primary key it is automatically taken and auto increment is there so each time we add a row it will automatically increment the value and in the content I'll just uh, you know put short title as Java 1.8 
and here as a long title uh, comprehensive course on Java you know kind of a long title here I'll just simply say refresh refresh okay yeah the code that's there so here I'll say training underscore demo okay let me run this once again let me comment this you know so I must now get how many rows I must get just one single row from that new table that I have okay training ID one Java is 1.8 okay that's how it is you want me to print the long title I will print the long title as well now I'll write long title okay once again I run you can see this here okay comprehensive course in Java is there now here what I'm going to do I'm coming back over here right so STMT I was talking about inserting so I'll say in in training underscore demo right I'll say which columns do I have you know so I'll just simply say columns any and you know, it's a normal insert statement right everyone and we, we all know this training ID comma I'll say short title comma I'll say long title okay and I'll say values now what are the values I want to put I'm hard putting the values at two and I'll say uh, you know another point uh, another is say uh, Apache Kafka okay and then comma okay a good or a complete course on Kafka okay this is what I'm doing and then I put a double quotes here I put a uh, okay uh, and I, I I put a semicolon here please take a look at this entire thing I have an insert statement this is the complete string okay so that you don't get confused I remove it from here I say string insert SQL is equal to I have put it over here please see right so this is the string and then I have a double quotes over here and hence anything which is a string within a double quote has to be in single quote you know you understand this normal programming right and then here I will say what insert SQL all right insert SQL that's how it is stmt dot execute and then I'll say stmt dot I'll say execute okay execute has happened uh, I uh, okay uh, we will come to the transitions part later but this is going to work for sure okay this is going to work for sure so what I'm going to do now is I'll say demo after retrieving it I'll say insert training okay now when I click right mouse button run as you can see always use hotkeys huh? you are a pro if you are using a hotkey you can see this alt shift you know all that options that you will get you know on your windows machine so you select that here and then you see this and here I did not print anything but yes uh, the value is definitely inserted I go back and I refresh here you can see this my dear friends this is com coming from where this is coming from our program isn't it isn't it if I run this once again if I run this program once again wherein once again this insert training will happen and once again the statement will execute let me write over here system dot out dot println okay row inserted successfully okay I get this now if I run this I'm using the hotkey to run this application it is going to give me an error take a look at that error okay what is that error see duplicate entry to why because your ID is once again if I'm running this my dear friend please see this if once again I'm running this the same ID 2 gets inserted but it doesn't get inserted why because that is the primary key you cannot have duplicate values for the primary key that is the reason why I am getting that error you got that okay so what I'm going to do here is instead of 2 I'm going to make it 3 and then run it again okay here you are okay and you can see row inserted successfully no errors at all and when I say refresh over here here you go I've got Apache Kafka but this time it is 3 I, I should have changed the values okay I can click here I delete here the row is deleted I can test it once again what I have taught you all today is how to write an insert uh, a select how to write an insert okay now what I want you all to do is I want you all to write the other methods for update and delete okay this is what your homework is okay uh, write write code for insert and uh, sorry update simple stuff right same way imps update and delete shouldn't be a, a big deal at all you can take a, uh, you, this is this is you know one of the homeworks for you let's proceed further let's proceed further there are other things also